you so much for watching my next video. Today I'm going to do a dark lipstick tutorial for a couple reasons. The first is that I did a reader survey and thank you so much if you're watching and you took it. And one of my readers told me that the dark lipstick tutorial I had written about years ago was one that she still goes back to even now and she shares it with her friends. So I thought, why not recreate it? Just use a video this time to show you what I actually mean. So you might recognize these photos from several years ago. I did have dark hair, now I'm a little lighter, and hopefully I haven't aged too much, we'll see. But the second reason is because I still use all of those same tools and tips and tricks. In fact, I'm going to use the exact same lipstick and lip liner that I use in the tutorial from a few years ago. So let's get started. The first thing you wanna make sure you're doing in the winter time is exfoliating your lips. And I recommend doing this on a daily basis, but sometimes it's hard to remember to do it that often, but a couple times a week is good. You can invest in a lip polish, it's just like a little sugar scrub, or you can just use your toothbrush, believe it or not. All you need to do is put it under the water and rub it back and forth on your lips a couple times a week. And this just helps to loosen up some of the flakiness and get it off so that when you are using dark lipsticks and you put your gloss down and you're ready to go matte for the evening, you already have lips that are moisturized and aren't flaking off because this will help the lipstick stay on longer, but also your lipstick won't flake off if you've already gotten them all off. Next, you're gonna need your tools. So there's one weird tool I use that I don't know that many people would consider using on their mouths, but um, I use something that's called a Kajal pencil. So I just got this one on clearance at Target for a dollar. Don't mistake it with white eyeliner. A lot of eyeliners these days are gel liners where it looks like a pencil and it glides really easily on your eye, but on your lip, it's actually gonna be kind of waxy, it's gonna be shimmery, and it's not gonna hold the lipstick. So that kind of defeats the purpose. The Kajal is literally um, an actual pencil. It's kind of feels like it's dragging across your skin a little bit and um, it's made of more natural elements, so it's going to just be a little bit tougher to get on the skin, but it's gonna make sure that your lipstick really holds. So the other thing that you're going to want is a lip liner, and yes, this is the same one for my post, it's Max Magenta. And then of course, you're gonna want your dark lipstick, same one. This is Girl About Town, also by Max. So these are my two favorites to make a really dark pink berry lip. And then the final touch is going to be a loose powder. And I like to use Makeup Forever's HD High Definition Powder, and that's going to set your lipstick. Okay, what the heck have I just done, you're probably wondering. Well, I think the key to a beautiful lipstick is a perfect and crisp Cupid's bow. So I take that white Kajal and I actually trace an X with the top of my lips where they kind of create that little V. And you're not gonna leave it like this. You're going to use a little bit of a, um, a cotton pad to blot it. But this is the way to create that crisp Cupid's bow and then to help keep the lipstick on. I really just take one of these cotton pads and I just kind of go like this. And all I'm doing is just kind of blending it in. But trust me, it's created a base that you want to create that crisp, sharp line. Next up is going to be my liner. So I do the same thing with my liner. I take it and I trace a Cupid's bow, an X, and then I also come and I do one line. It's not straight, it traces your bottom lip a little bit. That's the start. And then I'm gonna go in and I actually just fill in my entire lip. So I'm going to fill in the top lip and the bottom lip. So this is just lip liner right now. So as you can see, I filled in the entire lip and this is really going to help the lipstick to stay on. It also creates a, creates a base of pigment for the lipstick as well. So as you're eating or drinking and your lipstick is coming off, you're still gonna keep some of that color on because you've got this lovely liner underneath. Also, it will just create um, a deeper, richer color punching through your lipstick when you've got a liner on. 
Next up, of course, is the lipstick. This is my favorite MAC pink shade. It's called Girl About Town, and I think it is perfect for winter and also for upcoming Valentine's Day dates. Now that I've got my base of liner, applying the lipstick is a cinch. You're just gonna come in, do your color. Any spots you miss will actually be caught by the liner punching through or Obviously, you're going to do that. It's time for the final step, which is to set the lipstick. I use the Makeup Forever HD High Definition Powder, and all you're going to do is get a little bit on your powder brush, like so. Then you take a tissue, hold it over your lips, voila, it's set. Now you've got the perfect dark lipstick. The only other thing I would do would be to take the liner and retrace that Cupid's bow just to make it really pop. And now you're done. Hopefully you found this helpful. Thank you so much and until the next time.